Alert safety desk. It was a busy night with those severe storms bringing down power lines, taking out power for a lot of people in our region. I'm joined here live by WPS spokesperson Matt Cullen. Thank you for being here with us this morning. Good morning, Aisha. So we want to talk about what's been going on lately, get the latest. What's been going on this morning and what's the game plan for today? Wisconsin public service crews are working as quickly and as safely as possible to repair widespread power outages that were caused by those damaging thunderstorms that moved through northeast and north central Wisconsin last night, bringing intense lightning and wind gusts up to 60 or even 70 miles per hour. Uh, but our crews have been able to make good progress. We've been able to restore power to 27,000 customers approximately since 9 p.m. last night. Uh, today, we'll continue to work on repairing those outages. Some of the communities uh, that we've seen that have been most impacted by this storm include communities in and around Green Bay, Wausau, Rhinelander, and Oshkosh. But again, our crews have been able to make good progress and they're going to continue to work nonstop throughout the day to be able to continue to make those repairs. Well, the progress is good. And we often talk about safety when we're seeing outages, down power lines, things like that. Do you have a message for the community this morning? With this storm, we have had reports of significant damage, including down power lines. And we would remind our customers and members of the community that if you do see a down power line or other piece of electrical equipment, stay at least 25 feet away from that situation. Always assume any piece of downed equipment could be energized. Stay that 25 foot distance away and then contact WPS or a local law enforcement agency right away so we can send a crew out to the area, make that area safe, and then begin the process of making repairs to restore power to the customers who may have been affected by that down piece of equipment. And what are some of the challenges that these crews normally face on, on days like today? The greatest challenge that we see with severe thunderstorms like what we saw last night is the damage to trees in the area, knocking down large trees, limbs, branches, and pushing those and causing those to fall into our electric equipment. And that causes power outages when we have severe weather storms and thunderstorms like what we saw last night. Uh, but our crews are highly experienced at dealing with these types of situations. Again, they've been working ever since last night to make repairs and restore power to our customers. And they'll continue to do that as we go throughout the course of today, uh, again, working as quickly and as safely as they can. It's so important to talk about those challenges because we have to practice patience as those crews are out there working. When do we expect power to be fully restored for people in our region? Right now, we're still working to better assess the damage that the storm has caused while our crews have been making those repairs. So we don't have a determined time frame yet as to when we will be able to complete those repairs. However, we do anticipate that we'll be communicating that information as soon as it's available with our customers and our customers can receive updates about their individual outage using the WPS app by going to our website, wisconsinpublicservice.com as well. And we'll make sure to also transfer that message to our community. Matt, thank you very much for taking the time to be here with us. Absolutely. Thank you, Aisha. Tammy. Steve. I'll